Bye, guys. I haven't made one of these videos in a little while, so I don't know where we left off at last time. So, um, I think everybody knows we got the kitchen. It's installed, even being used temporarily. Uh, and what we are working on right now. Uh, let's do a quick walk through, through the house, though. So, what we got going on is I just got finished cleaning up and organizing a little bit in here because everything was chaos. Uh, we got to take that cardboard that's over there and we're going to lay it out on the floor here so we get the ceiling painted. And uh, at the same time, I got these three panels of plywood here for my crown molding. Uh, these two panels here are going to be used for the sides of the refrigerator and possibly a cabinet for inside of the laundry room. And then I got this piece of quarter inch for the under panels for the cabinets where the lights go. So that one panel will get painted and we'll put it under here. Oops, there you go. There you go. Uh, and it'll house it. This is all that wiring that we did pre, uh, pre cabinet install to have everything wired and ready to go for that. So that's pretty much ready to go. I got the crown molding which is sitting right there. Got my area cleaned up. I have my my test samples that we made already. Um, as far as the trim is concerned, you know, I'll, I'll grab a couple of these. Piece of crown. So what happens at the top of the cabinet, each one has a frame that is built. Um, as you can see here, it's, this is not attached. I did that on purpose so that way I can paint these things first and then they just get screwed down to the cabinet. And then obviously the crown molding that will finish it all off. So the crown molding was from previous projects. It's a different color. So this has to be scuffed down, painted, and then we'll paint this at the same time. So paint, 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 paint. So we can get the plywood painted so we can make the side panels build the crown facades and then uh, all that stuff can get painted the same white color. Then we can put the kitchen together. That's done. And then it's up to the refrigerator and the stove to come so we can finish running that gas line. <clears throat> so uh, as we talked about last time, we got the windows all done and they're all painted up. Two coats of satin white. It's not really white, it's a little bit off-white. Uh, it just looks nice and it's also a durable paint where it's not going to rub off. So we got the bathroom, the doors are painted, trim's got one coat, walls are all got one coat, the ceiling's got another coat. Everywhere where I touch though on the top, uh, it bled through so I have to go around and give this whole top half another coat. So. Uh, Got paint for that, ready to go. And this is because I've been gone for a couple weeks. It took me a little bit to go around and see what's going on here. So uh, we got the attic door. That needs to be just sanded and painted. Probably gonna paint everything here the white. So all the patching and the priming that we didn't care for has been taken care of. Uh, oops, I don't know if you can see. Everything that looks blemishy, that's the primer and the old paint. So we got all that that needs to be painted again. So uh, we got the maroon room all done as well. The doors are all painted. Two coats on the bifolds. Closets all painted. Uh, we're going to clean up that uh, area there uh, to do the hanging closet rod system. So it'll be an adjustable rack for everything. And then here we'll probably just do some shelving for whatever on both sides. So that should take care of that as far as storage goes. And ceilings all painted. The walls have one coat, they need another coat. Um, you know, it just, it happens. As you can see right here, you can see through it. Little spots that I picked the dirt off and came out white. So another coat, more paint. Uh, 
the laundry area where I was talking about whatever leftover panels, we're just going to do a very simple cabinet for right here. Uh, and then the countertop for the washer and dryer. So, uh, the bathroom also we got the door here. Uh, this is the tile that I chose for the bathroom uh, shower. So as you can see, I, I went with the stone. It's all flat. It's not shiny. It's not uh, slippery. So it's got a bunch of grooves in there, so it should give a lot of traction. And we're going to go with this white 6x18 uh, tile. I don't know if you can see how big that is. Uh, so I think this looks really nice together and then we'll break up the tiles here and there with different colors. This stuff is cheap so we can get a variety of sizes for uh, example. We'll probably do some smaller ones for inside of the niche and maybe do a border at the top just to just to break it up a little bit. Uh, I originally chose this tile for the floor. I don't know if you can see the color on that. Um, but I don't like it anymore. Uh, I did like it when, I guess when I didn't pick the flooring yet, so, <laughs> but, uh, it's just got too many brown colors to the grays that we have here. So I want to play with that one still. So, but, uh, bathroom again, ceiling's painted, walls are painted, everything's ready to go. We just got to trim it once we get the floor down. So nice stuff. Uh, so that's pretty much where we're at as far as like what's left. Uh, the big bedroom's done. Obviously, it's occupied. I don't want to go into too much detail about stuff. Fan, like I said, everything's done. Lights, closets, and obviously the inside is all trimmed out. I'm ready to go. Uh, I do need an opinion on the window, if it should be frosted or if it should just be like a fog on it so you don't look in. Can't see inside, it's over 10 feet. I mean, I walk up to it and it's like this high to me. So unless the guy's really tall and desperate to look inside a closet, I don't think it's important. So this is where I'm at. I said, I just got to finish cleaning up. Uh, you know, it's, it was a mess when I left here. So uh, kind of got everything a little bit organized, got all my tools together, kind of organized. So, we're ready to uh, get going on this. So, you know, I like I said, I have all the pieces cut in advance. Or not cut to size, but milled out. You know, like this is a simple little L that's on here. How this works is there's going to be a piece of plywood that goes on this part. And then this will go locked into it. Like so. And it gives you a nice clean finished look. And the bottom of the panel is completely finished. I think that's a professional way of doing it. I've known for a fact it is a professional way of doing it because we get paid $100 per piece to put those up. Uh, so that's 300 for that one, probably four or five for that one, another 300 for that one. So go figure. And all it is is just a little bit of effort, a little bit of paint, a little bit of math, pencil, and uh, we'll get it. We'll get it together. So, um, you know what? Basically, everything's all cosmetic. Like this wall needs to be painted. Inside this hallway needs to be painted. I got my power washer, my landscape stuff here. That's got to get done still. Uh, I got rid of the squirrel problem. We had that. We got rid of that. They're not back anymore. So, uh, so we're good with that as well. So. We can get the rest of the aluminum done on the side of the house here. And then uh, the outside's pretty much done. So, and the, the doors. That's pretty much the last thing I'm going to do. Uh, just because. Just because. It's not a big deal to do the door replacement. So, and uh, there's a lot to be done still. So, uh, today my project is, like I said, I'm going to get the cardboard down so we can get these plywoods laid out and I can get them primed at least uh, and then we can get them cut up and installed and then we'll paint everything as it's done so uh, hopefully next video the kitchen will be completely done 
the rest of the doors and the walls or the two bedrooms and the bathroom will be finished painted hopefully and the a uh the shower floor and the tile at least started a couple rows so that way next week it's going to be bam get the shower done and put the vanity in in the floor mm -hmm. sounds so easy so team i love everybody peace out talk to you guys soon